Hi, I'm Dr. Tracy Banks and welcome to Bankable Health Tips. This is a show where we provide you with the latest healthcare options that affect you. Today, we're going to continue our series on contraception and talk about the IUD or intrauterine device. So let's get started. First of all, what is the IUD? The IUD is a little T-shaped device that your healthcare provider inserts inside your uterus. It is over 99% effective and it's a reversible type of birth control that's long lasting. Just like the pill, however, it does not protect against sexually transmitted diseases. There are two types of IUD. One is the hormonal IUD, which is marketed as the Mirena in the United States, and the other is the copper IUD, which is marketed as the Paragard. Let's talk about the hormonal IUD first. The hormonal IUD lasts up to five years. So once it's inserted, you don't have to worry about birth control for five years. But if at any time you decide you wanna get pregnant or you don't like this form of birth control, it's very easy for your physician to remove it. It releases the hormone progesterone, which prevents your ovaries from making eggs or prevents ovulation. It also thins the endometrial lining, so if an egg does get fertilized, it cannot attach and it also thickens the cervical mucus that makes it difficult for sperm to reach the egg. The copper IUD can last up to 10 years and it doesn't have any hormones. It prevents pregnancy by preventing fertilization of the egg by the sperm and it also thins out the lining as well. It has the added advantage in that it can be used also as emergency contraception if you had unprotected sex or previous method failed. This is a model of the copper IUD. As you can see, it's a little T-shaped device that sits inside your uterus. It has strings that come out that sit in your vagina, but you never see the strings. Occasionally, you may feel them if you want to check for the IUD. And it doesn't interfere with sex or any other activity. The IUD has many benefits, and the most important one is that it's so easy to use. Once your provider puts it in, you don't have to worry about taking a pill every day or coming in the doctor's office for a shot or any other type of intervention. It also doesn't interfere with sex or other activities. Once it's in, you don't even know it's there. It's very safe to use in breastfeeding and it's reversible. If at any time you decide you want to become pregnant or you don't like this method of birth control, your doctor can easily remove it. And the last benefit for the hormonal IUD is that it can decrease menstrual pain as well as heavy bleeding. In fact, most people on hormonal IUD stop having periods after they've had it for a while. Now the IUD does have certain risks, and these risks include that one, it may be expelled. Sometimes your body just doesn't like it, and so it can come out. That happens very, very rarely. If it's expelled one time, we don't like to put it back in. Another risk is that it can perforate the uterus. This typically happens during insertion, and if it does happen, your primary care provider can take care of that, and the risk of that happening is very, very, very small. If you're exposed to sexually transmitted diseases like gonorrhea or chlamydia, they can travel up the IUD and cause pelvic inflammatory disease, which is a severe infection of your tubes and ovaries. So you definitely want to protect yourself against sexually transmitted diseases while using this type of birth control. And last, there can be a small increased risk of an ectopic pregnancy or a pregnancy in your tubes with the IUD. Side effects of the IUD are very uncommon. With the copper IUD, the main side effect may be heavy bleeding or irregular bleeding, particularly when you first get the IUD inserted. If you have these initial side effects, talk to your primary care provider if you should continue this form of birth control. The hormonal IUD may also cause heavy and irregular bleeding initially. But like I said earlier, usually you get to a point where you stop having periods with this form of birth control. It also can cause other symptoms such as headache, nausea, and breast tenderness, but these are also very temporary. And lastly, it may cause your ovaries to develop cysts, but these usually don't have any effect on your health care. Thank you for viewing Bankable Health Tips. This concludes our segment on IUDs or intrauterine devices. Please stay tuned for our next segment as we continue our series on contraception. I'm Dr. Tracy Banks, and remember, be healthy.